We are live here at the North Carolina State Brickyard here on the campus in Raleigh. And as you can see out there, we'll turn our camera to you. They are celebrating. It is fun time in Raleigh. They are finally number one here in Raleigh. They have won the NCAA championship. For the past few weeks, everybody's been howling that the pack is number one. They have proven it. They are truly number one in the country, the top college team. They've come a long way to do this. It's meant a lot to everybody on the campus. It means a lot to Jim Valvano. It means a lot to the team. They are truly number one. Let's turn the camera back out, and you can see the crowd again. They're celebrating. Also coming up on Eyewitness News Night, watch highlights of the game you just saw tonight the way many of you saw it. An argument over prices leads to a violent fight. Tonight, a Garner a new shuttle and a big mission. Good evening, I'm Beverly Burke. Larry Stogner has the victory in red. North Carolina State University's Wolfpack is the NCAA national champs. You just saw it here on 11 Together. State, the kids who stop your heart with those come from behind close calls, put it all the heart they had to defeat Houston's Cougars 54-52. The underdog pack took the lead, but it went back and forth in some of the fastest court action ever played. It was a fight to the finish. Rich, was this a case of just wanting it bad enough to win it? Oh, uh, it, it, yes, <laughs> it is. You know, if anybody were sitting down and they were going to make a movie out of this, Beverly, I think we would all laugh at what this person was trying to write because North Carolina State's finish this year has been such a storybook finish. The quest to the national championship, very few people thought that it would be possible. It was. We just saw the highlights there with Beverly. We'll see them again the final 10 seconds. So the, one of the most exciting finishes. I'm just really just without words right here. Look at that. Derek Wittenberg. It was a desperation shot. Lorenzo Charles, and he did that, we might add over Akeem Abdul Elijahwan. He went over him to score that basket. Look at the jubilation. You can see the tremendous frustration on the part of Houston. Houston was supposed to win this game, but earlier we talked about the fact it was discipline, the desire. Look at Thurl Bailey right there, and I think we're going to come back and we're going to see a shot. There it was. Thurl Bailey crying with victory, but what a job he Sidney Lowe, Derek Wittenberg, Lorenzo Charles, Kozel McQueen, Terry Gannon, Jimmy Valvano, that whole team did. Total team effort. You have and to say that. You just can't capture, recapture, we should say, the excitement of something like that. It was unbelievable. It's the only word I can think of. It's hackneyed, <laughs> but it is such a true term. Unbelievable. It was unbelievable. And you know storybook. It, it, it is. And and we are gonna be talking about it forever. But you know, to say that the fans are ecstatic is an understatement. I mean, this is where the pictures take over for the words that we can't put in. We've got Dan Williams standing by live. Dan, uh, show us the pictures because, of course, that'll, that'll tell us more than the words. Well, we have got absolute mayhem out here. Controlled mayhem, and as Rich said, it was a disciplined game. This is anything but a disciplined crowd, and we'll show it to you. These people, this is my third report live to all the people in uh, North Carolina, in our area of North Carolina, and if they've been hollering their number one, they are truly number one tonight. Nobody is going to deny them this fantastic victory in the NCAA Finals. The crowd says it for itself. The bonfire is going. Toilet paper is going all over the place. Students are happy. This is what they've waited for for a long time. It's been uh, nine years since they won a national championship. Jim Valvano in his third year has finally won his uh, national championship. Nobody's going to deny it. North Carolina State is here. These fans know it. They're going to support their pack all the way, all the way tonight, all the way through uh, all the playoffs, everything. The story, once again, is the crowd themselves. You can see for yourself nothing but happiness here on the NC State campus live in Raleigh. See some of the signs. Uh, Coach Charlie's the man. Destiny, my foot, we were bad. And it certainly looks like the pack was bad tonight. You can just see it for yourself. There's another sign. Number one, Phi Packa Attacka. So much for Houston's Phi Slamma Jamma. The crowd is the story here in Raleigh. They are going wild. I would estimate a rough guess of maybe about 5,000 people here. You can see it for yourselves. That's the story so far from Raleigh. Beverly? Okay, thank you, Dan. 5,000 and probably definitely growing. As the saying goes, getting there is half the fun. Wolfpack fans watching their team pull off incredible close wins would only say that there's some pain, too, that tenseness waiting for that final basket. But watch they did tonight, and our Catherine Walters watched the watchers in bars on Hillsborough Street. 
A few minutes before the game, students were beginning to congregate on Hillsborough Street. Of course, all you needed to do was shine a light on them, and magically, before your eyes, the crowd quadrupled. People waited in line to get into the bars. Once in the bars, it was obvious the crowd was geared up for a game. It didn't matter if they could see it or hear it. The party spirit was there, and the enthusiasm was wildly contagious. By 9.30, two empty kegs went down and one full one went up. The students were just getting started. I drove an hour and a half to come to a bar at State to watch the game. Where from? Elon College, Elon, North Carolina. Elon College! It's crazy. What did you do to prepare for tonight's game? A warm -up is, we took a road trip. We came for the party. Where did you come from? Danville. I came home early for spring break. <laughs> I can't even hear you. I don't even care. <laughs> One way or another, win or lose, these students are getting geared up for a party at the Brickyard after the game. As one student said, the Wolfpack has made it this far, and that's reason enough to close the season with a scream. In Raleigh, Catherine Walters, Eyewitness News 11.